Good morning, gardeners. Set us out here and in my screen porch. As you can see, it's dark out, but the sun is starting to come up. It's up under the horizon, far away. But sunrise is probably, I don't know, 30 minutes away. And I'm sitting here in the dark, everything looks normal. And then I look over in this corner, realize something looks wrong. My chain gave way. See, I have a chain all around the top of my screen porch that I hang things on. And more and more, sorry, my hand is so shaky. Um, and more and more, I go to hanging orchids instead of putting them in pots. And now I have this poor disaster here. So I started to remove this one already. I just immediately went for it. It was all tangled up and I got it loose. So she's okay. Whew. Let's see what else, what other damage is done. So at first I thought I just needed to remove her and these two other little plants here. Bulbophyllum, which has my bud spence on it. Maybe I can just hang there. The bubble pile up on this pot for a moment without. Uh, I don't know, it's actually shaky. Oh, just for a moment. And then Cassidum. <laughs> oh well, I won't do this on camera. So I was just going to move these couple plants and I didn't think much about it. And then I looked down and I saw all this and I said, what is all this? This is all the medium from the one. And then I look over and I see these air plants come from. I realized, I thought, look, it's all empty. At least it's not broken because these things break so easily. But look at this poor guy. This poor guy. What a mess. Oh, shouldn't have touched him. So, wow. What are we going to do today? We've got to come up with some other plan. These chains have been up here for, I'm going to say, since probably 2003. So they've been up there a long time. And other corner one. You hear me walking on the <laughs> little play balls. The other corner one also let loose, as you can see. That was many years ago. And actually, a pot got broken, so I guess I'm good there that it wasn't a clay pot, didn't hit the ground or anything. Um, yeah, maybe something about the corner ones not having the same amount of strength as these. figure out another system, I guess, for hanging plants. Does anyone have a suggestion for me? I don't know when this occurred because I did not come out here yesterday. I was a negligent gardener yesterday. I was distracted, as the name states, because we put our foster dog down. very difficult to do. Very, very difficult to do. I just, it's just so hard to admit and to give up, you know. Just, anyway, I'll do a little montage again at the end of this video. That's all for now. We have garden destruction. Well, if it hadn't been for garden destruction, I would have probably never noticed that this guy just bloomed. I think it's already bloomed because the little white parts, sorry, the little white parts on here look spent. I understand someone said these only bloom once ever in their lifetime. Okay. 
I picked up those two. And then I showed you the one that's blooming that's in my hand. But where are the others? And how did those pieces of paper get there from on top of the table? When we had that tropical storm depression yesterday, we had, had a lot of wind, so maybe that's the cause of all of this. Okay, I found one of them. I don't know how it got here, but it's here. It's on this table <laughs> from over there. It was in the corner. Don't know how it got here. That's very odd. Maybe a gust of wind. I don't know. Let's see if we can find the other one. I came out here for a project today, and this is it. When I found all the broken orchids, um, and it's to get this orchid and this orchid. This one's in, you know, a decent sized pot. This is in a tiny pot. And it's all the same plant. It's the original plant I have, I don't know, maybe six pots of this all separate now. But I want to get at least these two into this very large pot. Because as it is now, nothing can stand up on its own. Too much weight. So I'm not going to film this because this is probably going to take forever, but maybe we can do a before and after. This is what they look like before. I've been waiting because they're blooming. Ouch. This has its own thing going on right here. <laughs> and this one has its own thing going on right there. We well, see normally I just put those in another pot. That's how I ended up with all these orchids. But anyway, they've been blooming, but now that the blooms are starting to die off a bit, I think it's safe. That one looks pretty new. Maybe I'll cut that one and take it to work. All right, here I go. Well, that didn't take long to realize I'm not able to get this thing out of the pot. Look, look at the drain hole, completely covered in roots. They're white, pretty roots. Look at the green tip coming out. Uh, maybe my best bet. Well, I would have to break this thing. This is really old. It's coming apart, as you can see. I could just get this part of it off and repot that, which is what I've been doing all along. That's why I have so many of these. Oh, this little king it can go now. Um, yeah. And I think the same is true over here. The only way I'm getting these things out of here is to break the pots. I don't even know how to do that. Uh, but all I have to do is go to YouTube University and figure it out. Well, that was surprisingly easy. All I needed was a piece of newspaper over the pot and a hammer. And then I got that. And it broke pretty clean. There are a few small shards, like that one. But for the most part, it was big pieces. <clears throat> this pot was kind of falling apart anyway, so it broke pretty. I gave it a couple of hits on the front and it cracked not only across where I hit it, but all the way down to the bottom and all the way up the back side. This one's a little scarier because it is, the roots are so attached to it. <sighs> but I'm going in. I got the first little pieces out there. Well, it's not easy because of all these roots. Ooh, that was a nice big chunk came off. And, uh, yeah. This one just not really giving it up very easily. Now see, that one had a lot of white still and stuff. This one's pretty brown in there. I think it's really the roots outside of the pot that are <laughs> keeping the plant alive. I don't know how long this plant has been in this pot, but I'm telling you, it's in excess of 10 years. So, I guess I'm going to have to keep breaking it. Ta-da! She's done. She looks like she's still in the pot, too. <laughs> if you didn't know better, I think she was in a brown pot. Same with this one. Okay, now the work really begins. Well, my 
Well, my plan to put two orchids in one massive pot isn't working because somehow just the one fills up the whole thing. I haven't put any medium in there yet, but there's no way this one is going to fit in there too. I wanted this one big giant dendrobium was my goal. Maybe there's some little pieces or something I can put in there. Okay, look, she's all potted up. Her and her two little outgrowths. That little outcropping turned out to be two individual things. And she can stand up on her own. This plant hasn't been able to stand up in forever. Almost needs a tomato cage. I was really hoping to consolidate my dendrobiums into bigger but fewer pots, but not looking like that's going to happen. Just bigger pots. She looks beautiful like that. I hope she's okay. That was pretty intense to her roots. But I think she was living mostly on the roots on the top anyway. Which those now have a little bit more coverage. I'll let some hang out just because that's what she's accustomed to. So let's see how she does. I pulled these two kikis off this plant. There's one. I'll cut the cane. And then the other has two branches and even a balloon. Anybody would like these? Be the first one to say you want the kikis in the comments and send me your address and I will mail them to you.